Welcome into another edition of The Complete Angler. I'm Joe Long. I'm JC Brooks. Today we have a battle of the boxes. Mystery for me. Lucky for me. You're going to need luck because I'm about to take you down. Probably. Alright, so let's open them up see what we got here. Oh. I'm sure I picked the wrong one again. You picked the wrong one, so show. Actually, I might have. <laughs> Actually, you did. Of course. How many things you... One, two, three, five. Four. Should be five fishing items. There. Of course, the hooks. Yep. I can already see I lost. Oh, yeah. Why? I'm going to let you go first. Explain what you got, and so forth. I have a Clear, clear Lake Lures. It is a, what is that, a popper? I believe that's yep. a popper. Clear Lakes, what is it? Clear Lakes Lures Popper. I don't think they have the thing like they do. No, they don't, do they? No. The price and everything? No. Okay. We don't need that. Uh, yeah, that's what I got. It does have the, uh, what should we call it? The feather on the end? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know which your technical term is, but it does have the feather on the end. So, yep. that's what I'm laying off with. You can beat it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I will. I'm going to go with my big Dine Jerkbait. This is by Cast... Castastic. Cast... Like, fantastic. But with the cast. It's a 4.75 inch, half, uh, half ounce weight, Dine Jerk Chrome Shad. Made with Trophy Technology, whatever that is. Super cool, good color, good fleck. I can't wait to use that over at Piedmont because I love, I love this thing. I think mine takes yours. Yep. Okay. And that means I get to lead, and I'm gonna lead um, my second best thing, which is pretty freaking cool. It is the Eel Emanator by Game Changer Lures, and this thing is phenomenal. I watched a video on this the other night um, by Mystery Tackle Box, Carl's Bait. You can fish this on the back of a Chatterbait, Carolina Rig, Texas Rig. You can use it like a frog and scoot it across the top of the water. Um, what is this? Uh, green, watermelon, red... Um, Watermelon green, green watermelon, red fleck. It's an eight pack, three and a half, um, made by a custom bait maker named Steve Parks. And it is a really cool, really cool saw plastic. I make saw plastics now. When I see something that's great quality, I know it. And this is about as good a quality saw plastic as you can get. I'm just going to throw in a Z-Man. I believe that's the name. Who is Stick Z? Is that mm -hmm. what? Okay, just making sure. You're just yep, I'm throwing it. it? Yep. Okay. I mean, these are not bad, but, but compared to good. this, yeah, yeah it's no. So, two Two's up. to nothing, and it's back to your lead. I'm going to throw in my Smart Beats. Mm -hmm. uh, what are they? I didn't even look at these. I wasn't prepared. Where does it say the... On uh, the back, it says it's color... What is it? What's it look like on the front? Like a... Um, like a... I don't even know how to explain that. It's kind of like, like a, a June bug, kind of reddish. I was thinking like almost... Like that looks dark June bug and that looks kind of red. Yeah, so but I it, don't know. It changes to chartreuse tail, red body. Where are you seeing that at? Right there. The big oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's like, that's I was looking for words. Made in USA like usual. That's a good bait, and I'm gonna go ahead and honor it by throwing two. Oh come two on! Oh come on! Dad hooks. No 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 no! Wait. By Big Bite Bait Company. Okay, hold up. I was wanting to do the end where we just put both of our hooks together. Uh -oh. and <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Okay, so next I've got so it is two to one, and I have another awesome bait. Believe it or not, most times when you get down to number three, number four, they're kind of. Eh. This is by Lunker City, uh, a Herbreed original make. Uh, and it also comes with a LunkerCity.com 25% uh, off card next time you order from Lunker City, which is pretty cool. 
I don't order a lot of soft plastic baits anymore, but if I did, this is a green pumpkin five inch creature bait and it has more tentacles or whatever you want to call them, arms, legs, tails, than anything I've ever seen. And let me pop some of these off because they are all like stuck together from the factory and I just kind of want to see. I really like this thing. I might have fished this today if I would have known it was here. So it's ribbed like a ripper shad, but look at that. I mean, that's like a, a Yamamoto cowboy on steroids. So what are you putting up against that? Mustard hooks. I figured you would, because this is pretty, pretty good. And that solidifies your victory. That solidifies the win, and let's see, that was my lead, so that's your lead. Sen Senshi, it is a dual, dual bait. Oh, yeah. A prop bait. Prop bait. That's why I wanted to What's say What's the collar? Don't know. Didn't say? I never really looked. I need With to put colors on here. I'll re uh, since she means warrior, by the way, okay. so it's called a warrior, uh, Japanese style, blah blah blah, element designs, born and ready for combat, belt with entire vicious reactions from the most aggressive adversaries, CJ Lures, blah blah blah. Is it kind of a purple color? I'm or just looking real quick. It? I just wanted to see. It's like a purplish type. Looks pretty cool, I thought. Yeah, it's like a double prop bait. Um, I, I like it a lot. I really like, I've got a heavy metal tungsten uh, finesse football jig I'll use it all the time, black and blue, prototypical colors. I love this bait. This one beats it every day and twice on Sunday. Um, would I use this bait more? Probably not, but I, I like it more. This is a very functional, especially if you put um, something like this or like one of our uh, beaver bugs on the back of this thing. So two to one. Or, I mean... Two to three. Two to three. Uh, good boxes, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, really good stuff. Uh, that's the one reason I keep getting the boxes, is because I keep getting stuff like this that I really, really like. And both of these baits at the front were good. I'll probably give this to Dad, because he loves popper. He's the popper guy. Anything else from you? Best... The best bait out of both boxes is what? Honest, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do something a little like, bit different. Like, the best bait is defined a lot of different ways. What I would take and use right away, like a Mongo... Okay, let me specify right coolest bait. Coolest Th this bait. does not mean you're going to use that at all, but the coolest bait out of everything. Probably that. Really? And that second, and this stuff up third. Okay. Yeah, I, and now, if I was going fishing right now, what would I grab out of this? This. Because I think we're around here where we go, that would be the juice. For J.C. Brooks and Joe Long, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, take a kid fishing. We'll see you on the lake.